Hey guys, did you ever wonder what would happen if you take the Plants vs. Zombies franchise and uh, the Binding of Isaac franchise and smash them together? No? Well, me neither. But today we will find out anyway by taking a first look at I Rule. I Rule is a tower defense roguelite fan game that is based on the gameplay of the Plants vs. Zombies survival mode while using enemies and certain randomized gimmicks like items, pills and shops from the Binding of Isaac. The game was created by Dr. Hammer and it is completely free. It will be released for public download tomorrow, February 12th, on his creator page on itch.io. And he was generous enough to let me take a first look at the game before the official release. You will find all relevant links to him and the game in the video description. But now let's jump right into my completely blind first look at the game. Okay guys, so before I start I have to go through two disclaimers. One of my own and one of the creator of the game, Dr. Hammer. Let's start with my own disclaimer. So most of you that are following the channel for a while probably know that I never made uh, any kind of true quote unquote let's play video. So this is basically my first one. I hope it isn't too awkward and it is bearable. So let's go with uh, Dr. Hammer's disclaimer. This game is a half-baked, poorly coded, barely working pile of shit that I made in two months and dumped on your desktop. But hey, I'm so glad that to actually release something, even if it's not fully finished yet. This game is still deep in alpha, so I might add more stages, babies, monsters and bosses in future updates. Anyway, if you wish to help with development or report some crazy or nasty bugs, be free to contact me. Also, this game is free, but if you're really eager to give me money, you can subscribe to my Patreon. Although, if I were you, I would spend the money on the Binding of Isaac Rebirth and Plants vs Zombies games. I will obviously put uh, links to all of those in the video description, especially the Patreon of Dr. Hammer. So the game is called I Rule. I don't know if this is the full title of the game or it's just a working title. Uh, I will probably keep all here like it is and just jump into it. I have to say I haven't played uh, Lands vs. Zombies games in like 5-6 to six years, but I know the basics. At least I hope I do. Okay, so what I know is that little chat is basically like the sunflower in the original games and you get hearts instead of sun energy, I guess. And you collect those as your currency and buy babies instead of plants. And just like in Plants with Zombies, they have cooldowns and you place them on, on cooldown, ideally. There's the first guy placing a rather bobby, which is more or less the basic plant, basic shooter. Yeah, he just shoots in one line. So there are a lot of similarities to Plants vs Zombies, which is the point of the of the game, obviously. And I bet it will get considerably harder over time. What I, what I also have read in the description is I can click those, but I can also press 1, 2, 3 or 4 to use them, which is obviously a good shortcut and a good habit to learn early, I hope so. Okay, so the, the cube of meat is probably like the potato in the original game which uh, can be used as a shield. I don't know if this is overkill, but I'm going with three lines of uh, heart generators. If I remember correctly, in the original games you needed that, especially later on. Okay, I also have Bob's brain. Let's place. Yeah, it's just like I thought. It's like the, the mine in the original games. Huge wave is approaching. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, the, the brain is like the mine. I'm really sure. You place it and it grows for a set amount of time. Then if an enemy runs into it, uh, they explode. I'm sure that's how it, how it is uh, working. 
Yeah. See? Instant death to those guys. Okay, that's it for the first level. Nice. The aesthetics are awesome. I also get money. There are probably something like shops and you get a trophy. Yeah, even more money. Okay, so you get one coin for the level and one for each uh, charger that survives, I guess. Choose a card to add to your progression. Okay, so we get a new baby every level. Rainbow baby, freezer baby, or a random one. Mm. Rainbow baby is probably random shots, obviously. Freezer baby freezing. Freezing sounds awesome. I go with the freezer baby. Okay, so I have to build a deck out of four. I mean, those are no-brainers. And I should also go with the freezer baby, why not? Let's see. Okay, we have, we have obstacles now. The question is, do they also stop the enemies or are they only bad for me? That is a good question here. Let's see where they spawn. Up one. Oh, I missed a few seconds on the little chat cooldown, which is bad. Let's shoot that one down, see what happens. Okay, I messed up there a bit, lost a little bit of time for the little chat cooldown. But I think it will be fine. Oh, I hope. So the game is listed in the on the on the on the page as a roguelite, which basically lets me assume that it is permadeath. So as soon as one guy comes through, the entire run is over. Which is different from the original Plants vs Zombies. If I remember correctly, you can retry levels over and over. Making that into a roguelite is rough. Okay, let's try one of those guys. Mm, I should probably start spamming some cubes as well. Okay, the soul hoop is finally down. Okay, the freeze is cool. Ah, that when that guy farts, he pushes everyone on the next line. That could end up being really bad. Mm, does he make it? Come on. Ah. Come on. It was a bit worrisome. Don't want to lose one of the charges early. I wonder if they reset every level or if they are permadeath for the entire run. Since it is uh, supposed to be a roguelite, I would assume they are dead for the entire run. But I hope I won't find out, actually. Yeah, the freezer babies are really good. You can already tell. And I feel like they're also relat relatively cheap for what they do. Uh, I would assume there's one more wave. Oh, a pill, nice. Hmm. I bet I can take them with me to the next level, so let's do that. Ah, I have to give them to one of the guys, I see. But damn it. I just wanted to uh, place a freezer baby there. Okay, we get the golden enemy, whatever that means. Okay, let's start replacing some guys. 
I hope he adds some kind of encyclopedia later on to see how much damage they do and stuff like that. Well, I mean, if you like the game, I could obviously also make guides about it later on. Don't know. Okay, so let's see if I can take the pill with me to the next level. That would be really cool. Choose a card to add. BBF or Little Loki? A uh, Little Loki will probably shoot sideways as well, which doesn't sound too good actually. And that guy. You know what? Let's go with random this time. Whisk Baby. Shoots tears in two diagonal directions but can't defend himself. Uh, I guess it can be good to place them in the middle. But it would also mean, if it's like I imagine, I put them here, and then it, he shoots like that and that at the same time. It sounds good on paper, but the problem is he would only attack uh, enemies really late. I want to attack them as early as possible, so I go with the same build as previous. Like this. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, do I get my pill? Yeah, I totally do. Cool. Let's just test that on the first uh, Brother Bobby I place, I guess, to see what it does. But I have to wait for an enemy before that. Don't want to throw here. Okay, this line. Mm. Let's see. Full health. Full health, okay. That was pro uh, basically a t total waste. But I guess uh, they are identified now, the, the health, full health pill, and I can use it the next time I get one. I should probably shoot those poop stones early. the next one yeah mm, let's start building cubes also make use of the cooldown I think three lines of little chats are the way to go for now maybe I'm wrong only one way to find out start shooting that one down. Ah, I should have done that earlier. Now that I think about it. Nice. I guess it's fine. Let's shoot that one down. I want to have at least one freezer baby in each line for obvious reasons. I need more. I think it's fine like that now. Enough little chats. Okay. Those guys are a bit faster. Okay, but they don't jump over. But they attack really fast. Holy shit. Need the freezer baby here as well. I basically want two bobbies and one freezer baby in each line now. Which is nearly a comp. Oh, wait. I actually accidentally dropped out. Okay, it's fine. The aesthetics in this game are really awesome. I wonder how much time went into that alone. Actually, nuts considering that it's a fan game. Free fan game at that. 
Oh, and I want the cube here. Yeah, it seems like I'm good for that level. One more cube here. Another pill and some money. I wonder where I can uh, use the money. Probably like random shops in between. Mm. I will save the pill again. To unlock snowball. Okay, that's that are achievements as well. Already. Crazy, if you ask me. I guess snowball is like freeze a certain amount of enemies. It would make, make sense considering that I have uh, freezing babies. I have a cube for that line. Oh, golden proof. And another pill. I have the same pill twice now. It can be good. Let's replace some of the of the sunflower babies. Damn, tons of pills. Oh, I can only hold three pills. So let's see what this is. Uh, speed down. Nope, thanks. I had. Okay, way too many pills. Uh, we'll have. Yeah, let's let's leave that one behind. And we know that that is a speed down. Okay, that was uh, Blue Room three. I wonder if it's always Blue Room as the first uh, chapter, I guess, or if that's random as well. And I also wonder when the bosses will come. Probably every like five. Okay, never mind. Every three levels, and it's baby plan. Oh, okay, it's like in the original. You grab cards and place them. I see. Okay, yeah, drop all in the same line. Okay, I should probably pull help. Don't die on me. Ah, shit. Uh oh, that's not good. That line is already trouble. Don't know if this is permanent or what it even does. Okay, that guy has to go in the middle. Mm, let's do it like this. Uh, that is risky, but I do it. Speed up, that's good. Oh, and he's down. Never mind. That was a wasted pill. I would assume speed up is just uh, firing faster. I wonder if I actually have to hit baby. Yeah, I do. I do. That means that uh, wrist babies are not really good against bosses. Since they won't uh, make it through, I mean, I could I could obviously place them like here, but that sounds stupid. What the? She has a gun. Okay. Um. And she's angry as fuck. <laughs> okay, those animations are awesome. I don't know what she exactly did there, but it looks cool. Spawning some poops, I see. More poops. And more wisp babies. I guess there's one more wave, or is it only little plum now? Seems like it's only her now. Yeah, then let's do this in that case. She sh she just shoots the back row down, okay. Yeah, 
Okay. So the Wisp Babies have a use in, in the end. Without new enemies incoming. Okay, there she goes. Cool. And you get an active item, I would assume. Glowing Hourglass. And we have a shop. I see. So basically one shop every boss, I would assume. Mystery gift. A heart and a d6. I guess... I guess... What does red mean? Is it that it's because it's an active item or because it is rare? Hmm. I kind of want to go with the D6 just because. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so... Uh, I think I will do one more level to see how the D6 works. And then call it for that video. Yeah, I go with the freezing baby. Oh wait, I'm... The D6 is a passive item. Huh. Interesting. So I'd assume, I would assume that ones are active items. And that are passive items. I, I can't switch. Okay. I mean, that doesn't always have to be like Isaac. There are some limitations to that. Oh, okay. We are in the mines now and we have uh, wagons. Uh, cards. Don't know what the better word for that one is. Okay, so I will do that level and uh, end the video then. I hope it was bearable with me talking. <laughs> and if you want me to continue this, it's like uh, serious, let me know in the comments, please. Because I actually really enjoyed that game. I wonder if I should I should probably add the freezing babies in the cards I think that makes the most sense yeah, let's do that ah, the glowing hourglass should I try it I'm just now to see how active items work I probably should Let's do it. I'm just using it. Oh, <coughs> okay. I have to use it on something. Seems like on enemies. Okay, I push them back. And then it rerolls over time. Probably. Oh, I should place more guys. Uh, it seems like it recharges over time. Okay, so I should use that on cooldown probably, or at the beginning of the big waves. I haven't placed a single shooter on that line, I just realized. Oh, the top line also. Damn. Let's do it like that. Let's do it now. Yeah. I think that was good. Cube here. Yeah, I'm still wondering if the, the chargers are permadeath for the entire run, but I'm pretty sure they are. It would make a lot of sense. But like I said, I don't want to find out. On, at least not on purpose. Ah damn, I should have placed a freezing baby there. Uh, I should place some here as well. 
This squirrel needs a cube. use a glass here not sure oh damn mm, let's risk it shit speed down it's not good let's use the hourglass now for a little bit of time i need more guys oh, up here yeah, you can you can already tell that it gets a lot harder fast, which is good, obviously. Who wants this game to be too easy? Okay, seems like I won. We have to kill that guy. Should be easy enough. And he is gone. Okay guys, like I said, I don't want to spoil too much of the game yet since it isn't even released. But you get a general idea of it and I want to end the episode here. If you want me to continue this as a running series on the channel, let me know in the comments please. And also consider subscribing and liking the video, it really helps out. And look forward to the full release of the game. And by the way, I want to check one thing before I end. I know I want to go to the menu. Okay, runs are also safe, by the way, which is good. It has a bit of loading time, which is to be expected. Yes, that's. That's what... Oh, okay. So... There are achievements. Killed enemies, used pills. Deaths, I have zero so far, which is good. <laughs> and unlock content, 14%. Okay. And we have a list of the achievements. You unlocked Snowball. But I don't see what I did to unlock it, which would be cool, I think. I would assume it is uh, freezing a certain amount of enemies. Break chunks. E3 pills to one baby. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to spoil too much of the game in this video. So go and try it. I will link it in the description when it's, when it's there. And I will tweet about it when it's uh, released. And I will also make a community post about it. Thanks for watching. He's the number one. I think God's favorite son His flowing rose Reached down from heaven